Mike at Premier Pet Supply. And Mike, we've been talking about fleas and ticks, and this summer could actually be pretty bad. Yeah, they're saying that this summer could be the hottest, wettest summer we've experienced in a really long time. And with that, fleas and ticks will be out and about in full effect and full force. Um, I've had a lot of people tell me already that they have gotten issues and had issues with ticks. Oh, really? Just in their yard or especially going on runs with their dog. And sometimes it's going without the dog. So it doesn't mean the tick is just gonna attach to an animal. You can get ticks yourself as well. Oh. So there's ways to prevent that. And okay. one of the best and most natural, I've always been a huge fan of, is Wonderside. So Wonderside just uses natural oils. Cedar oil is one of the most effective. And it's got different oils and different scents. It comes in lemongrass, peppermint, lavender. So these actually smell really good. Okay. But the best part is they're safe. So you can use this on a puppy, you can use this on oh, a really? kitten. And those pesticide, flea and tick preventatives and treatments, you cannot use on any animal under 12 weeks of age. It's really, really something you should not do at all because they could get really bad neurological issues and disorders. Oh, really? Because essentially with the, um, the pesticides, it's, it's going into the bloodstream. So, oh, you know, although this is gonna be not quite as convenient because you have to do it more frequently mm -hmm. every day or even before the dog or you go out, um, but it is all natural and you don't have any worry. So um, this is great because what you can do is you can spray yourself down before you go out and run or hike. Um, fleas uh, are, are in, in areas that you know tend to be more wet. The ticks are in dry, grassy areas. They can be everywhere. Okay, but I have a question for you. So you know, if you're wearing any type of fragrance and you go for a run, I've noticed mosquitoes can be a bit of a problem. D d is that even? No. So the nice thing about this is these are oils that essentially are insect repellent. So it creates okay. a barrier between you and those insects. They don't like it at all, so they stay away. Okay. So ticks can be very dangerous, something to consider. You always want to check your dog after going for a long walk or a run, okay. and even check yourself. What ticks do is they embed their heads into the skin and under the skin. Mm. So you may see it, but you have to be really careful in removing it. And if you don't, it's, it's, it's the head where they can infect you. You have to make sure you get it entirely out. So there's products like the Tick Tornado or the Tick Twister. What you can do is you get in under the skin and you pull the entire Ooh. tick out. It's really, really important that you do that. Yeah. Otherwise, it could be a big issue. So make sure that you're being very cautious. How, and also, go how, ahead. How big are they? Like, how do you spot they're it? They're small. They're small and they're, they're dark in color. But, um, like, are you, but they have are a you, hard shell to them, so they're really hard. So you'll feel it on your skin. You'll feel it, you know. If, so if you're anything. petting your dog, you could feel it. You'll feel it. like a bump. Yeah. Got it. Okay. Now, fleas, on the other hand, they're, they're wingless. They can only jump. They're very, very tiny. To find those on the, on the animal, you literally have to get really deep down to the skin, so you have to separate the hair. So having a flea comb to separate to get in there really helps as hmm. well. Okay. Another thing to consider, if you have a lot of bugs in the yard, is that the Wonderside, uh, they do make a yard spray. Oh. So the yard spray is something that you, you'd want to do twice over the course of 10 days, and it lasts for 30 to 45 days before right. you have to reapply. Well, thank you so much, Mike. Those are some great options. Absolutely. Okay, thanks.